Um, yes, Bar Barbara, email from Barbara says, Nola, you are usually so calm. Just so you know, because of people like you, many of us are calling, right, and they're still voting. Good with tribes. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Barbara. Yes, I am usually both very calm because a lot of times, I mean, I'm not usually surprised about anything I see because um, when you're on the inside and you hear so much information, it's hard to, I mean, you hope people will come along. But at the same time, it seems like the public is too slow in coming along. And these people are too fast in taking over. Because seven months in right now, they're so emboldened to say whatever they want do whatever they want and they're threatening to take over i played a clip from this man and in that clip if you want to check out a facebook page right now i posted the entire um uh, program from vice on the facebook page midpoint on wednesdays and you see this man was armed ak-47s all sorts of guns um clocks nine millimeters and stuff they were expecting to get confronted they were hoping for things like that and they expected to get bigger in the next rally now, Let's go to the phone lines right now. Um, Lisa from Bradenton. Lisa, Hello. good afternoon, Lisa. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Lisa. You on hey. the show? Welcome to the show. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I just want to say, what about divide and conquer? Our country was pretty well doing fine, you know, not too long ago. And what they want to do is try to turn us against each other because, well, what's going to happen? Does anybody say anything about China and North Korea? and how much we owe China. And this is just a major big distraction. Do you think Donald Trump is dumb? I don't know. If he might be dumb, he might not. I'm not sure. But he still has people behind him who want to take over this country. Actually, you know, what? Economically? Yeah, they do. You know, they want to take over our country economically. You know, that happens. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. So don't what know. are you saying? Are you saying this is China just... and North Korea when things like this protest? I mean, and the death, really seriously, the death that happened. We may be in debt, and what are they going to do? Get rid of all the black folk and the half black folk and the quarter black folk? You know, and I mean, come on. And the Muslims? Do they really think they can get rid of all these people? What are we seeing the big picture here? They're trying to turn us against each other so that we don't have anything to do with what's really happening right now. What's really happening is capitalism. Right, thing? Yeah. Um, well, you know? Thank you, very, thank you very much, Lisa. Um, thank you very much, Lisa from Bradenton. I think, um, see, this, this is, I disagree. I disagree because a lot of times I think Human beings are capable of walking and chewing gum at the same time. Just because we have one problem doesn't mean all subsequent problems that we're always going to deal with, especially in a democracy, um, it's going to occur. And this is exactly who we hired? This is the best person to lead us? The greatest country in the world? This guy? Are you kidding me? I know tons of people in this building right now. Who are better? What have we done? And what are we gonna do about it? We have to put pressure on our legislators. I'm sorry, no one should be comfortable. Cause behavior doesn't stay the same. I'm sorry. These people are emboldened and you think I'm... And if you don't believe this, thank God for bites. And I know you had a, lot, a, a few um, sound bites earlier from Rob's show. I have another sound bite for you to listen to. When Vice was embedded with this people, and they talked about what their intentions were. This is a gentleman, it's, uh, this is words of a gentleman, Chris Capwell, right? One of the leaders that was supposed to be the speaker of the Unite the Right movement in Charlottesville. And this is after Heather Heyer was killed. Listen to his sentiment. These are the people that Donald Trump is willing to defend. Listen to his sentiment. Um, you get loose track your fucking guns, huh? I say it was worth it. You're exactly. Guns, huh? I say it was worth it. We knew that we were going to meet a lot of resistance. Uh, the fact that nobody on our side died, I, I'd go ahead and call that uh, points for us. The fact that none of our people killed anybody unjustly, I think, is a plus for us. Um, and I think that we showed. Uh, we showed our rivals that we won't be cowed. 
but the car that struck a protester, that's um, unprovoked. That's not true, and you know that it's not true. You've seen the video. So. You've seen a video. I, yeah. I don't know much about it. I, 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 I understand that you describe what the video well, appears uh, to show. Okay. So the video appears to show someone striking that vehicle when these animals attack him again, and he saw no way to get away from them except to hit the gas. Uh, and sadly, because our rivals are a bunch of stupid animals who don't pay attention, uh, they couldn't just get out of the way of his car, and some and some people got hurt, and that's unfortunate. So you think it was justified? I think it was more than justified. I, I, I can't believe the amount of restraint that our people showed out there, I think, was astounding. What do you think this means for the next alt-right protest? I say it's going to be really tough to top, but we're up to the challenge. Wait, why? Why? Tough to top? I mean, someone died. I think that a lot more people are going to die before we're done here, frankly. Oh, I think calls. Dave from Tampa, Justin Dale. Wow! 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 That's a good thing that guy. I've heard it before. This is the type of guy that you're going to defend you. This is the type of guy who's just going to be working. Nobody means by that, don't you? The thing I think they're going to be shooting people. Yes. They're going to be shooting them. So they're going to be anti-fascist people. And you know, you know, who? I'm glad, though, finally, this is what we, some of the people who were in the campaign, were worrying about Trump. We were worried about him. People say, no, no, he's not that way. He's not that way. No, look at him. Look at him. He is not. We, we can truly say we have a fascist, and I can say that in the White House. A Nazi sympathizer. That's exactly what he is. A magician was exactly right. Uh, this guy is, I mean, it's time to do something. And I'm saying, that's not as okay to tell me. I'll see you then. And, and he was terrific. He was saying, the problem not anymore is, well, it wasn't anybody to see him. Maybe we can try to change Trump. It's Trump himself. And he said, he urged the Republicans to, no, it's not going to him, to just leave him in a corner and become more isolated. And by the way, Anna Navarro was terrific last night against Jay Brewer, the, the governor of the governor of Arizona, the governor of Arizona. First of all, Joe Biden. Donald Trump was a part of Joe Biden. That's no, that's no uh, a surprise. That's all Nazi. He only was part of this week. Now I'm going to see you do the six months or more. But just see what Jay Brewer was like, well, you know, we're going to see you. This is Donald Trump. Blah, 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 blah. This is what it is. And you know, he really did say that something bad, bad, bad. And Anna said, let me tell you something. Just he is a misogynist, racist, fascist pig in the White House. We have got to get rid of him. She's a Republican. And when I see him, what he's doing, not only to this country, they call me right. And to this country, it makes me sick. And then this, this crazy man, Max Carriage, that, 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 that they was interviewing the, uh, the Nazi, said that this guy is telling that that Ivanka was that Donald Trump gave, gave uh, his daughter to a Jew. Right. No, 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 nothing to do with Ivanka when she had love for this man when she, when she was going. That had nothing to do with that. It was Donald Trump gave right. his daughter to a Jew. You know, this man is like, well, this is the Twilight Zone. This is, this, is, this is unreal. And this guy, the guy who also made me to the break of nuclear war, we can't handle that man. We need to stand up to, to this government and ratcheting up to them. What? No, what? Yeah. Yeah. Unreal. I don't yeah, I mean, we are living at those times that I read about. I mean, I just can't. I feel like I'm in a trance. Um, yeah. And and I, I no, it, nobody can sit back. He can't be quiet anymore. Everybody has to be, to be held responsible, and that includes our legislators. Nobody can rest. And I'm sorry, we are on the cusp of this country being destroyed. This country being just. This is several months in. This. I mean, we have to. Hillary Clinton, for all her faults. Is not, would not have been this is this you know what I mean um, Danny thank you very much I gotta go now Danny okay. but thank you very much um but you know what this is this is this is more than just party lines Exactly what this was, and I told people here for the past couple of years that when he first came out to Tampa, a USF Sundom, I covered him, and I remember I was stationed right next to Jim Acosta of CNN, and the energy in there scared me, cause I hadn't felt any energy like that or any presidential rally until the first ever. 
except for the first time President Obama was running, that was in, I think 2008. He rivaled, the energy in the room rivaled, and I came back and I told him pre production meeting, I'm like, this guy can win, because the energy in that room is scary. And I remember asking Jim Acosta of CNN, like, is this normal? And he's like, yeah. Now, this has grown, because these people are not wearing hoods anymore. They don't care anymore. They're willing to go on camera and tell you exactly how they feel. Say it's three words. You just said mask off. He confirmed perfect that. This is what this is all about, though. You know that. That's all corporate competitivity. In the consummation of a needed ploy to control and dominate the masses of people. And through this distraction, uh, we haven't seen a, a, a tax report yet, so your credibility is really limited, but you can play on all this. I mean, you ain't even paid show what the common person has to show a damn tax report yet, so I'm not going to even start with 45. It's the people that let 45 breathe the air, we breathe, and somebody uh, interpreting us like he feels us, and that's absurd. And I was really wanting to call you to tell you this, though, they already started that attack two years ago before he got in office, they had these people in place. I was seeing it. I was trying to tell y'all sleep with me about some of the stuff going on at the Veterans Administration because I'm a veteran. I saw that that just uh, exposed itself and then tried to play out. So my concept then was this, and it still is, who are we taking the country back from? Just ask yourself that question. There's never been a threat. Every time you open his mouth and they open a stupid face up, who are you taking the country back from? You run every damn thing. I don't want to, don't even come in my face about you, any inequality. You understand me? I can't go nowhere without you being the dominant, you being in the, I got to buy, I got to, can't say up. What are you talking about, period? That ends that conversation right there. There's nobody to take the country from. Well, and to make us great again, we're only not great because of stuff like this. Interesting. That's the only reason we're not great. If we're not great, what is it? You know, like it, you know math. I mean, uh, equation, A plus B equals C, why aren't we great? And so he needs to answer that question and the fact is, it's not because of anybody else. Don't blame anybody else. Like Michael Jackson said, you look in that mirror, the man in the mirror, ask yourself why, what you did, what you doing, and to blame other people is a That's all I can say. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wait, there's no statues that we got to pay for them, all of them to come down because I don't have money to pay for a statue for me to look at. I don't know nothing about any of them, all of them. I don't even care. All right, thank help you. The people, help give the money to people, help the people, help the public. Help.